Bagwan people, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm cooking rice and peas using fresh red kidney beans. Call red peas in Jamaica, as well as brown stew fish and MP3 pineapple with ginger and lime, as well as sauce of drink. So first I'm cooking the rice and peas. So I am currently removing the beans from the pads and in, Jama in Jamaica we call it shell out the peas so I am shelling the peas Jamaican style in this spot is two cups of water and I am adding some salt also few seeds pimento and two cloves garlic and piece of fresh ginger root and so I'm gonna cover the pot and put it on on a fire and bring it to a full boil I am cooking the rice and peas on a coal stove so I wash the peas and then add it to the pot cover the pot and allow the peas to cook I am using one coconut sometimes I use two coconuts to put in the rice and peas but in this case I'm using one I have two but I need the other one to do another recipe I am straining the coconut milk separating the milk from the trash as we call it in Jamaica some people restrain it like them added more water to the trash and then strain again for me that's a no-no that is like adding more water to the milk mm -mm, I want coconut milk and not water so one straining is enough for me yeah man Peas are partially cooked, so I am adding one stalk scallion piece of fresh thyme and one hot pepper. The peas are fully cooked and uh, for me basically I do not cook the coconut milk with the peas. I allow the peas to fully cook and the water dissolved before adding the coconut milk. In that way I cook the rice in mostly the coconut milk because they want the rice and peas to taste like coconut milk, right? So I use a strainer to fish the scallion and the thyme from the pot. This is really optional. I add the coconut milk and then give it a good stir. Then I taste the liquid and more salt is needed. So I added more salt. So then I cover the pot and I bring the coconut milk to a full boil or I boil it for about five minutes before adding the rice. I wash two pounds of jasmine rice until the water runs clear now i am adding the rice to the pot then i will give it a good stir using a fork and as i mentioned before make sure that the water is about an inch over the rice now cover the pot and cook the rice i am cooking the rice on a cool stove however if you're using a gas stove you know that they each should be on medium low for the first few minutes until the water dissolves from the rice then you put it on low you put a piece of file paper in the pot and allow the rice to steam I am using a pineapple that is called MP3 to make a drink. MP3 and Sugarloaf Pineapple are the two sweetest pineapple in the entire world. Now I wash the pineapple carefully because I'm cutting up the pineapple with the skin. I remove the head. I'm going to blend it with the skin. If you live in first world countries or countries that you call first world countries, 
do not use the skin of the pineapple because guess what those countries import pineapples from various countries and you don't know if them the people they use fertilizer however in jamaica it's a different story because we don't import pineapples we grow our own pineapples in our back garden or the farmers them they use pineapples and uh, them they use fertilizer and their pineapples so we don't really have nothing to worry or fear about not true yeah man no worries no fear when it comes to food in jamaica because it's all natural yeah man i am also using a piece of the jamaican ginger which is very strong so i can't use a lot I use the juice of two limes to enhance the taste of the drink. The drink is so refreshing. It is so hot in Jamaica right now. So the drink is welcoming. Just put it in the freezer to chill. And look at the color. It is all natural. I did not use food coloring to enhance the color. That's the natural color of the MP3. The sugarloaf pineapple color is similar as well. I prepared three fish however I only browned through two fish I steamed one with okra and then I served the brown stew fish with jerk chicken so I use one angel fish at the top to the side is the poggy fish and uh, at the bottom is the og fish or og snapper coleslaw using cabbage and carrots cabbage at this time in Jamaica is scarce and very expensive and not of good quality I put some water into a container added some salt and then I put the cabbage to soak for five minutes this is 
to kill any worms or anything that might in the cabbage worm eggs anything whatever yeah man that's how i normally wash my vegetables with salt i pour some white vinegar into a jar And then I added some white sugar, not a lot. Cover and give it a good shake. And then set it aside to allow the sugar granules to dissolve into the vinegar. I shred the two carrots on a grater. Then I use a vegetable peeler to shred the cabbage. Y'all cook in Jamaica, the food is cooked timely on a coal stove and also on a gas stove. Food should cook timely in order for it to develop flavors. That's what I learned at high school in food and nutrition class. My food is rustic. That is what Jamaican food is all about. Rustic settings, no fanciness. Real Jamaican food, full of flavors. Better than hotel food, better than restaurant food. May I tell you, yeah man, I'm not doing anything fancy for YouTube. What you see is what you get. Thanks for watching.